Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell, get all the updates. Right to today's video, the beer's courtesy of Sierra Hotel. Really appreciate it. Uh, so this is interesting. I did the unboxing, and then a uh, few people, I think literally three people, um, reached out because I think maybe I said something like I haven't heard of this brewery or something like that. And people are like, you need, like, they need to be on your radar, was essentially what it boiled down to. So, uh, Noble Savage Brewing Company, uh, engineered hype, double IPA, 8.3% ABV. Um, and it is about five, almost six weeks old. Yeah, almost six weeks old. And um, that's for you, Jim. My friend Jim bust my chops at. He, he really likes watching me figure out the math of how old a beer is. Um, but anyway, so engineered hype. This was sent on purpose because I am no hype, so it just made sense. It just made sense. <laughs> what does not make sense is I just clipped my fingernails recently, which made opening that can harder than it should have been. All right, that's very yellow. I feel like I've had a string where there was a good amount of orange in beers like this, whereas this one's very yellowy. Um, I mean, do I say hazy? Do I, you know, say more turbid? It's not, I mean, it's almost like milky-ish. So it's definitely like, how about extremely hazy, extreme, right? That's a good word to use. <laughs> uh, about a, not quite half a finger ahead, I didn't pour too aggressively. Uh, pretty darn compact bubbles. Some legs, some lacing, not a ton, but some. Looks apart is a short version with, again, more yellow than some of orange ones that I've had lately. Let's get into the uh, aroma, something a little bit more exciting. That smells good. It's like danky peaches. Orange, good mix of, and a little bit of lemon, good mix of zest and juice. apricots so like yeah pitted dank pitted fruit with a good amount of citrus for me orange lemon more than lime and grapefruit although i could see a little bit of grapefruit um they don't put i like the labels like you have like their label and they put the sticker of what the beer is here um i didn't look up hop or hops if i can find it i'll put in the description box below um i have some thoughts citra comes to mind because i usually get you know orange and uh peach with that but it might not be. And then definitely a nice dank element as well. It smells really good because, like I like, it's got the fruit stuff, but it still has the beer thing, you know, and that dank is doing a lot of heavy lifting for it to, like, remind you that you're not just smelling straight juice, but it's, you know, it is a beer. So it kind of hits uh, both those columns for me, which I really appreciate. Let's see if the taste does. Cheers. And thanks again. I really appreciate it. It's pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh, man. The more I'm sipping it, I might elevate that pretty good. Man, this is interesting. So here's what's interesting. Because sometimes that's using the word interesting does not uh, accurately articulate what a person means you know like oh that's interesting could be really bad or like oh that's interesting is like oh cool like this person is actually interested and invested in what i'm talking about what's interesting about this is i feel like i've had a run of beers besides the color um where like the taste really follow the aroma and um maybe if there were like let's say five things i got in the aroma I got those five things and maybe one or two other things or four of the five things I got in the taste and a couple other things, whatever. This one has some of the stuff I got in the aroma, but there's a lot more going on. And, and the other thing that's really interesting to me, though, is the intensity. Because there is this melon nectar vibe in the taste that I didn't get any melon in the aroma, you know? So the fact that, that like, I do get some orange... Uh, Forget about the lemon if I did in the taste or not. Uh, definitely some of the pitted fruits. So like I'm getting that stuff from the aroma, but then this like dominant taste did not at all get in the aroma. So it's it, it's kind of throwing me for a loop. And again, to use that word, interesting. I still wouldn't say I'm getting it in the aroma. I'm 
great amount of hop bitterness and hop expression with all these fruity elements. So like the aroma, you get the fruit stuff, but you also get the um, um, bitterness and you get, well, the dank thing too. Man, I have a lot of things I want to say. And like, so I'm kind of, and also it's the first day back at school with students. So I've, I'm also not used to like doing stuff and talking that much and now I'm like oh yeah I gotta articulate stuff again after spending all day articulating stuff so I am a little out of it if I'm being honest um but I also think this beer here's one of the things I thought about talking about and then I was like you know forgot and then remembered and I'm just gonna talk about it this style this like double you know New England style double IPA um there is a template if that's the right word of what I think is the ceiling I've talked about this before where I think it's just a style of beer that there is a clear ceiling and people get to it or they don't, you know, and we could have interesting conversation about uh, breweries or certain beers from certain breweries who are at that ceiling where I'm not saying they even all taste the same. I'm not even trying to have that conversation, but like they're all at that level. Okay. And then people are at different, different levels and it's almost a paint by numbers thing. Like if you're going to be at that level, it does have to, and again, I don't really think they necessarily all taste the same, but they taste similar or whatever. They have like the certain amount of mouthfeel that they're able to pull out with the pillowiness and then, you know, certain amount of big fruity notes and then some like a little bit more bitterness or less bitterness, dankness, pine, whatever they're looking for too, right? Then you get the ones that aren't quite as paint by the numbers that still go really high and they hit some of those, you know, like the, the checklist of like what I think is those ceiling beers and breweries doing the style. And then there's stuff that's different, you know, and this to me is like one of those um, where it has some of the paint by numbers. And I hate that term for this, but it's really the closest thing I can really think of that makes sense. Hopefully it makes sense is it's got it, it does check those boxes, but then it's it's different enough where people who are maybe burnt out and do think they all taste the same or too close might be, you know, with this beer, like, oh, there's there's enough different um, that's keeping me more interested than those ones. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of curious. This is a beer for sure. Uh, if you've had this one specifically or others from the brewery, I would love to hear your thoughts because this is a very new experience, this brewery, completely new to me. Um, so like this is definitely a video where I would love comments if you've had again this beer or this um, or beers from this brewery before. And yeah, that melon nectar thing it's just it's so like the other flavors I, I spoke about less, but I, I spoke about those come across in that paint by numbers way. You can get melon in those beers. And sometimes even like this, like this nectar quality, but just the way this one's hitting, not it's not an off way, but it doesn't hit like any of the other ones I've had. You know, pick the brewery, Treehouse, Trillium, Fidens, blah 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 blah, blah Monkish, whatever. N name the hyped brewery you want or the hyped beer from from certain breweries, right? That fit the style, um, or or lacking hype. Not to over you overly use the word hype. Um, this should have been like a vlog, apparently, because I think this is probably getting pretty long. Um, I say all of that to say this. This is really good. Um, and I like that it's a little different than, again, this paint-by-number ceiling thing I keep talking about. Um, so I'm curious if that's like what the brewery's going for. If they're like, yeah, we want to put our own spin on this. That's probably the short version. Like, we know what this style is. We want to do that, put our own spin on it. And there's there's other elements of this that I'm having a hard time articulating where it is, is it's it's just a little bit different, you know? Um, but that nectar, it makes me think of some of the beers Ty sends me from um, Evergreen, I think specifically, maybe South County, where I get this strong nectar thing and it's much stronger than I get in those other breweries I mentioned before and other ones too. Um, and, it, and it sets it apart and it kind of keeps me interested, you know, and then I have one of those ones from Treehouse Trillium, blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, oh yeah, I like how this hits too, you know, so it's not a knock at either uh, approach to this. 
but yeah, it's really, it's cool. It's cool. It's different. I like that. Um, anyway, have you guys had this beer before? Have you had anything from this brewery? As I said before, I'm super curious to hear thoughts. As always, I always like hearing thoughts, but this one for sure, I'm like, I'm really interested. Um, so yeah, comment section below. Let's get a conversation going. Once you're done doing, oh, thanks again, Sierra Hotel. I really appreciate it. Uh, once uh, you're done doing that stuff, be sure to check my Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews in both those places. So please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.